Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 1 Lesson 3 homework. So let's get started. Um, number 1. So rewrite the following numbers including commas where appropriate. Alright, so let's see. First we have 4,321. So let's see, we have 4,000. 21. So our thousands are comma would go here. And B, we have um, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, that actually, yeah, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So then the, the comma would go over here because it's 54,321. And then for C, the comma would go in between because this is 200,000. So it would go 3 and 3. And now this one, um, I think it's in the millions. 2,224,000 and comma 466. And now this one, we have a super big number. I think it would be 10. So yeah, this one was like, it was like 10 billion or something. Yeah. But yeah, all right, so number two, solve each expression, record your answer in standard form. So let's see, standard form is just a regular form writing the numbers. So four tens plus six tens is 10 tens. So 10 tens would be 100. Eight hundreds plus 200 is 10 hundreds. And 10 hundreds would be 1,000. And then five thousands plus seven thousands is 12 thousands. And 12 thousand would be 12 thousand. So yeah. Number three, represent each add-in with place value disks in the place value chart. Record the composition of larger units from 10 smaller units. Write the sum in standard form. So first we have two thousands, for the thousands we have two thousands, and twelve hundreds. So let's see, we have 10 here, a group of 10 here, and I can go into the next place value. So now we have 3,020, 3,200, 0, 0. So then our answer here would be 3, 2, 0, 0, the comma after the 3. All right, next page. B, we have 14 ten thousands. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 12,000. So let's see, our 12,000. So this group of 10 right here can go actually here, draw another here. Um, so then now this one, 10,000, this group of 10 can join 100,000. So now we have 1, 5, 2, 0, 0, 0. So that's 152,000. All right, and now number four, use digits or disks on the place value chart to represent the following equations. Write the product in standard form. All right, so 10 times 5,000. So we have 5,000 and then times 10, we're gonna go over here. So it would go and switch place values to the higher one up. So now we have five ten thousands, which is fifty thousand. So there are fifty thousands in the answer. And B we have um four ten thousands, four thousands times ten. Let's see, four ten thousands and four thousands. So times 10, that'd be, that'd be one, two, three, four. So that'd be four, four, zero, 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 zero. So that'd be 440,000. So how many thousands are there? There's 440,000. And now over here, 
we have 27,305 ones times 10. So let's see, 27,000. And then, and then 300, five ones. So first thing is we do, let's regroup them into the next 10. So this group of 10 could go 10,000. This could go there too. And the rest can't. So now we do times 10. So now we have this. This is originally two. So we go here and we can make it two. This is a seven. So we move it here, seven. This is a three. So now this is three. And there's zero here. So there's still zero here. And then there's five, one. So let's go five here. So that'd be two. Two seven three zero five um zero. So then our answer would be two thousand seven hundred thirty two hundred seven two hundred seven two hundred seventy three um thousand fifty. So it's two hundred seventy three thousand because fifty is not a thousand. And number five, a large grocery store received an order of 2,000 apples. A neighboring school received an order of 20 boxes of apples with 100 apples in each. Use digits or disks on a place value chart to compare the number of apples received by the school and the number of apples received by a grocery store. All right, so let's start our place value chart. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do ones, tens, just make like hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred. We can abbreviate them too. Thousands and millions. So let's see, the neighboring school received 20 boxes of apples with 100 apples in each. So that's 20 times 100. So let's do 20 is two tens times 100 would be, this time tens, this times 10. If we want to times 100, then we times 10 again. So it was here and now it goes here. So that'd be two thousands. So that'd be 2000. And the, the grocery store also received 2000, which means um, they see the same amount, so. So just like that. Here, two thousand. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.